Here are four changes to Facebook pages that you might have missed. I just want to cover them very quickly. Uh, the first thing is when you go to your Facebook page to post an update, you'll notice that the scheduling feature is a lot easier to use. Okay, so if I go to my page and I schedule an update, this is the future. If I click on the clock icon, then I get a calendar. Okay, I can simply pick the date. It's a lot easier. I don't have to pick the year and the month and the date and all that stuff. I just literally just go here, one mouse click, I pick a date, then I add the time. I have to type that in. It's going to give me options here to select the time for the future. Okay, and then I simply click schedule. Scheduled posts show up in your activity log. Okay, the other thing you could do is you can actually target posts to specific interests throughout Facebook. Now, I recommend that you use the Power Editor or the Self-Serve Ad Tool. There are a lot more options in that for Facebook ads. But when you go to Boost a Post, if I click on Boost, target people who like your page and their friends, not recommended. But then you can choose people you choose to target, right? And then you simply pick country or state or city, okay? age, you can narrow that down, gender, and then interests. Okay, so interests, you have to use Facebook's pre-populated database of interests, and interests are derived from pages that people like, groups that people join, and other ways that people are expressing their interests. Just simply type in the keyword, and you will get results. Right here, you pick those, and then you can target those specific interests. All right, so that's number two. Uh, the other thing is that in notifications, when you go to your notifications in your admin panel, click on see all, you can now see shared um, actions. So previous to this change, you could only see when people have liked your stuff or if they've commented on posts. Now you're seeing when people share stuff. And then finally, the last piece is the new navigation bar in Insights. So when you go to your page insights, at the very top, you can go right to your page. You can see latest activity. There will be a red little number here if you have recent activity that you haven't checked in on. So you can click on that and go to that activity. Insights is obviously right here. And then you can click on edit page. And also, you can uh, manage admins, use your activity log, look at banned users and even switch over to using Facebook as your page. So those are just a few changes to Facebook pages that came out recently. Talk to you soon.